Hello dear students, welcome back to the channel. I am Dr. Vikas Singh Bhadwarya and in today's video, I will discuss about the different challenges in real-time pricing. In the previous video, uh, I have discussed in detail about the real-time pricing, what are the different features of real-time pricing, what are the different types of the dynamic pricing, what are the advantages of this uh, dynamic pricing to utility as well as consumers. So for uh, that video, you can find the link of the that particular video in the description box. So let's start our topic about the challenges in real-time pricing. So uh, in the previous video, as we have discussed the why real-time pricing, that it, it is a purest form of dynamic pricing and customers assume the risk of wholesale price volatility and are rewarded with less cost of service. So with the several advantages associated with the real-time pricing, there are few challenges which we need to address before taking the benefit or complete benefits of the real-time pricing. Uh, regarding the challenge, the first challenge of uh, real-time pricing is the collection of data. That uh, data has to be connect, collected in the real time. Another point of concern is that after collecting that data, decision making or decision has to be uh, taken and that dis data collection and decision making, these two processes should be completed within a minimal time. Mean, means it is not uh, the, this process should not be a time taking. So this is the main challenge uh, associated with the real time pricing that data collection and decision making should be in minimal time. Because uh, due to minimum time for notification in advance, so there is a need of development of a methodology. Means a technology has to be developed which can collect the data and make a decision with minimal time and again that the decision has to be indicated to consumer. So uh, the high level of complexity is involved in the complete process and due to this computational complexity, whatever methodology or whatever algorithm which is being applied in the system, that algorithm has to be tested very carefully and each and step, uh, each and every step has to be tested because once it is implemented, in that case, if the issue will be there, then those issues uh, will create some uh, problem to utilities as well as to the consumers. And the, this, the complexity level or complex uh, computational complexity is very high. So any real-time pricing methodology or any dynamic pricing methodology which is to be implemented in the real-time system that has to be tested properly before its final implementation. And for uh, this process of dynamic pricing or in the real-time pricing, the data has to be collected from the online data source. And this process can be simplified or for this uh, dealing the complete process means collection and decision making, a system can be developed and that system is generally known as energy management system, which can ensure the collection of data and that the system will also assist in decision making process. So we can say that the energy management system is having a too much computational complexities. So if we want to apply real-time pricing in any existing system, the energy management should be efficient enough so that that can collect the data and make a decision with minimum time. Then if we are considering uh, from the industry point of view, their main target is to give the production of uh, required amount of products in a particular time frame. So regarding industries, they are having 
point of concern about their production. They are not bothering about the consumption of energy because their target is or their uh, main objective is to produce a required amount of products in a given time duration. So their production is the main priority. Power saving is another option. So where production is main priority, so in that case it has, uh, it is not clearly defined that whether we should give the weightage to the production or weightage to the energy saving or which approach will be better. That production, if we are prioritized, pri we giving the higher priority to, to production, so that will be beneficial or we, if we are giving higher priority to energy saving, then that will be having the greater saving or the benefit to the industry. So it, it is a very tedious task. So uh, there is a trade-off between production loss and energy saving and one has to take a decision among the two. This is another challenge associated with uh, real-time pricing. And the main goal of real-time pricing and demand management from customer side is to encourage the customers to use less energy in the peak hour duration. And main argument or another challenge associated with real-time pricing is that that the, the demand management from load or consumer side is expensive and ineffective. The uh, reason behind that uh, this is given as that it is a uh, it is uh, giving higher cost or it is giving uh, higher charges or in this case the consumer has to pay high charges so uh, consumers are not easily accepting the real time pricing system then another majority or another challenge associated with real time uh, pricing is the privacy of users because the utility company is having the access of complete data they are having information that whether uh, what is the energy consumption pattern of a consumer or a particular load point on the basis of that they can track that whether a person is inside that home or in that complex or not if somebody if some third unauthenticated person can access that data then they may, this may create the uh, security risk to the consumers so the, this is the there is risk of privacy associated with this real time pricing Although nowadays it is not much concern because the utility companies are providing loyalty cards to their consumers. So these are the few challenges associated with the real-time pricing and these the references are used for the preparation of this video. I hope you like this video and if you like then please like this video, comment in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe the channel for the similar videos and after subscribing please press the bell icon thanks for watching the video